Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe it. So today we are gonna look into a game played between Rodzinski and Alexander Alheim, the fourth world champion. It, it was an exhibition match played in 1913. Um, here in this game, Alheim shows that the activity of pieces is very much important. So let's check this game out. Rodzinski has a white PC and he opens with e4. So f e5, knight to f3, knight c6, bishop c4. The Italian game. Here we have d6. Bishop e7 was also a trending line, but d6 was played in the game. And here we have c3. And simply bishop g4 by Alhain, pinning the knight. And now queen b3 was played and now queen d7 here because white was attacking the f7 pawn and as well as the b7 pawn if queen d7 defending the f7 pawn and if you track queen into b7 then rook b8 queen a6 rook b6 queen a4 bishop e7 and black has a lead in development it's enough as a compensation for for the pawn and if you try bishop into f7 check then queen into f7 and if queen into b7 attacking the knight and as well as the rook then simply king d7 we have if you try something like queen into a8 then bishop into f3 g into f3 queen into f3 and now your rook is attacked so you have to move is rook g1 and now queen into e4 check we have king d1 queen f3 check and after here black at least has a draw and if you try to win with king c2 then knight b4 check and you lose because your queen is hanging so white prefer not to play this and he chose knight g5 first. Here we have knight h6 defending the f7 pawn. We have bishop into f7 check. Knight into f7, knight into f7. And now queen into f7. Now we have the same idea but now the difference is that there is no knight on f3. And Hein instead uses it as an advantage. He plays king d7. And now the queen has to capture the rook. That's the only sensible move. So queen into a8 and now queen c4. As there is no knight here. Now the queen is threatening to, to mate in one with queen e2 checkmate. So white has to prevent this. We have f3. And now if you try something like knight d4. Then simply d3. And queen into d3 then c into d4. And now if you try bishop into f3. Then knight c3 and white is totally winning. So instead bishop into f3 was played first and now we have g into f3 and now knight d4. C, c into d4 was also possible but after queen into c1 check king e2 queen e2 h1 d5 queen into h2 check king d3 Queen g1 defending the ace and pawn. Queen c6 check king d8. Bla black is superior. So we have d3. Here we have queen into d3. Now mate is threatened, but here black is totally winning. C into d4 is played in the game, and now the disease the decisive blow. Bishop to e7. Threatening bishop h4 checkmate. And now your queen is attacked. Now at least either you have to give the, give up the queen or get mated. So Rodzinski chose the latter and he played queen into h8. And bishop h4 is a checkmate. So it was a nice checkmate by Alexander Aheim. A beautiful masterpiece. Creating this 15 move checkmate, sacrificing 2 rooks and a piece. 
This game is also known as the Wayward Queen game as the as he shows that when the queen is very much far away from the king, there are high chances of getting mated and that's what he implemented in his game. So nice game. Goodbye guys, that's it for today.